We just finished talking about and practicing the read aloud task. This right here is the second task in the PT speaking module. This is the repeat sentence. The repeat sentence is either the most or the second most important task in all of PTE. The other task, the write from dictation. We haven't talked about it yet, but remember that name. It's the last task in the PTE. Now, the repeat sentence is difficult for a lot of people. But part of the reason why people find it difficult is because of the name. Repeat sentence. They believe because it's called repeat sentence that they have to repeat the entire sentence. That's not true. So now let me rename this task to help you feel better. Let's call it listen to the sentence and repeat some of the words. How does that make you feel? Hopefully it makes it easier. Doesn't make it easy, but it should make it easier because now you know you don't actually need to repeat everything. All right. Now we're going to practice that later on. So in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the overview. I'm going to give you an overview of what the repeat sentence task is. And then I'm going to talk about the scoring. You want to know how the points affect speaking and listening. And then lastly, we're going to talk about the strategy. But as far as the strategies go, it's basically the do's and the don'ts for this task. So y'all ready? Let's get into it. Here is the rundown for the repeat sentence. You will be given 10 to 12 of these questions. You will be able to hear each sentence one time. Each sentence will have about 8 to 14 words. Now you will be instructed on when to speak. In the read aloud, you will hear a beep. In the repeat sentence, you will not hear a beep. It will say recording on the screen, so make sure you pay attention. Next, you will have 15 seconds to repeat the sentence. You will not take 15 seconds. Please don't take 15 seconds. Lastly, if you pause for three seconds, the microphone will turn off. You will not get another chance. You see the name, the instructions, everything is put there to intimidate you. But I already changed the name. We no longer call this repeat sentence, right? What do we call it? We call this listen to the sentence, repeat some of the words. Hopefully, that helps you relax a bit. It doesn't make the test easy, but it should make it easier. We're still going to need to focus on this specific task because of how many points it carries. So let me show you what this task looks like. Alright, so this is the closest we're going to get to seeing what it looks like on the real exam. This is a screenshot from the official PT mock exam. For the repeat sentence, you're just going to see that audio recorder. On the real exam, it's in the middle of the screen. You're not going to see any text besides the instructions, but you're not going to have time to read the instructions, so you just need to know what to do. So once you hear the sentence, you're not going to hear a beep. Remember that. You will hear a beep in the read aloud. You will not hear a beep here. On the screen, Instead of saying recording in how many seconds, it's just going to say recording. And that's when you know you need to speak. And as soon as you finish, press the next button. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Just press next. All right, let's talk about that scoring. Now, in the read aloud, I brought up the scoring where I said that they're scoring us based on content fluency and pronunciation. Now, if we look at the old scoring guide, they used to break down every single speaking task. They tell you how many content, fluency and pronunciation points you can get for each task. Again, it's not a direct translation to your score. That is just their scoring system. But now in the most updated scoring guide, it doesn't even talk about repeat sentence. The only thing it talks about is the describe image. So they don't even tell you how they score 
uh, the speaking anymore. All right, but let's just say that they still score the same way, which they do because I've already done the experiments, which leads us to know that content is still the least important part of the repeat sentence. And that is why I keep saying we don't need to repeat all of the words. The most important part of the speaking scoring or the repeat sentence scoring, fluency pronunciation. We're going to talk about that in a minute when we get to strategy. I just want you to understand that the repeat sentence carries a lot of points for your speaking and a lot of points for your listening. It's about the same, 30 and 30. So this one task will give you about 40% of your speaking, 40% of your listening. So this is something we must do well in, all right? But let's talk about that strategy. As far as the strategy goes, it's just do's and don'ts, right? There are things that we want to do. There are things that we don't want to do. Let's talk about the do's. Do try to repeat some of the words in sequence. I didn't say all, but some of the words, okay? Do try to repeat it in sequence. The other do, do try to match their speed. Sometimes they'll speak slow. Sometimes they'll speak fast. You want to try to match that. Don't create your own speed, okay? And now we'll talk about the don'ts. What you don't want to do is try to repeat the whole sentence, right? We've talked about that time and time again already. Don't try to repeat everything. It will hurt you more than it will help you. Unless you are so confident that you can repeat it all, don't even try it, okay? Only if you know 100% that you can do it. And the other don't, don't match the intonation. We used to do that. We don't need to do that anymore. So if they have high-pitched sounds, especially high-pitched, if it emphasizes the words strongly, you don't need to match that. Relax your voice. Use your speaking tone. How would you speak to a person? Right? You're not going to shout. You're not going to yell. You're not going to speak like a robot. Use your speaking voice. And that's what we want to do for the repeat sentence. And obviously, we're going to practice that. So speaking of practice, y'all ready? Let's go.